I am Dr. Donald Blake. And, oh, I get to be Thor. Yeah, I wanted to uh, give I you a chance get to, to be, be... Yeah, I was going to say, I never get to be the, the hero. David always gets to be the hero. I get to be the hero this time, David. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I'm Thor. Well, I realized that eventually we were going to get to the Avengers, and David was going to be <laughs> fucking everyone. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> this doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> Well, you well, you should be one of them as well, no? Well, I'm doing the captions. Yeah, he does the narrative so? kind of person. Well, the captions are kind of I like... Mean, maybe with the Avengers, you might have to be. You can be the Black Widow. And the, the, well, I was going to do some yeah. of the Avengers. Yeah, I was going to do Oh, like... Zach, you can, you can be Spider-Man. I bet you wanted to be Spider-Man. Well, Spider-Man isn't in the Avengers. Not in the early I thought he was in. The, I thought he was in the comic book Avengers. Much, much uh, he's later in the, on. He's in the new Avengers yeah. starting in 2004. Yeah, he does he's, not. he's uh... not in the original Avengers. I'll do the wasp. Oh, wait. Do the wasp? The wasp. The winsome wasp. Zach, fuck you. Janet Van Dyne? You can be Ant-Man. <laughs> be Ant-Man and the wasp. Yeah, Zach, be Ant-Man. Well, Ant-Man's kind of a loser. <laughs> <laughs> the in the comics, the wa the I wasp is it. actually the main hero in the, the wa comics. I hate to yeah, say it, David, yeah, yeah, but the yeah. wasp is unironically a much more interesting character than Ant-Man. <laughs> like, it's not close. You're gonna be Gore the Stone Man. Oh yeah. What the fuck was the name of that Viking fella again? Uh, Gundar. <laughs> Gundar. Now, we now, as we start this thing, mm -hmm. we have no idea what happened to like Billy and his dream man or whatever. No, the hell. and we and we won't. We're we're never gonna find no, out. No, because we're not gonna read. Because we we're not gonna read tales to suspense fifty four or whatever. Billy and his dream man. What the fuck are you talking about? Don't you remember Last the story, the, the prose story, story that ended mid sentence? You think I remember that shy? I can't make. That's like the worst way to indicate that he's like spinning it really fast. Because it looks like he just has a rubber band around him. Oh yeah, because there's like there's no action lines like from. From the center, from him towards the edge of the ring, at all, like it just looks well, like a ring around him. Zach, or Zach, I can't do fucking I, Zach. I think Excuse I'm me? fucking on high myself. It's the heat stroke because I, you know, I've seen like the current comics and I'm like they're drawn much know, better. They're 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 pretty good art wise, but these mm -hmm. old ones. I am getting suck. into. I have just started to like like seriously like the artwork in comics, and I'm up to 1983 reading through the mm -hmm. archives. Yeah. That's sooner than I would have thought. I, w I was expecting you to say the 90s. <laughs> no, yeah. it, w it was definitely the 80s. When does Todd McFarlane come Todd in? Todd McFarlane the... started like mid-80s, mid yeah. Mid-80s, okay. Yeah, Frank Miller and Todd McFarlane and all the guys that uh, I like the art of mm -hmm. came in there. I, Although, the I really only, like uh... Steve Ditko. Superheroes don't like secret identities anymore. There was a time, like honestly, it's the 80s and the 90s, which is the era of comics I like, uh, where like it was in balance and everything was good. In the 60s, we were weirdly balanced towards literally everyone needs to have a secret identity, including Thor, the Norse yeah, god yeah, of thunder. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then in modern comics, though, they've gone the opposite way, where they're like, no one would ever want to have a secret identity. Everyone mm -hmm. wants to be Instagram famous. And I'm like, well, yeah. there have got to be a lot of people with superpowers, given how common it is in the Marvel Universe, yeah. that would really prefer to have a secret identity. Because in the movies, they don't really... I mean, Peter has a secret identity. Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man's the only one. He's like just being grandfathered in. It's like, yeah. well, you can keep your secret identity. But they but basically ditched knows, everyone else's. But Tony else's. Stark, everybody knows Tony Stark is Iron Man. Everybody but no, knows once we Captain get... America is Captain America. Yeah, the original Avengers, they're in their charter. It's that no one has to reveal their secret identity to each other. It's like yeah. a founding principle of the Avengers. Yeah. So we're up to 12 cents on this. We're still so at 12 we, cents, I think. We, oh, okay. Had we purchased this comic... it for 12 cents, how much would we be paying for it today? Mary knows the show, and she's trying to get us to get going. I am. <laughs> so this is from August 1st, 1962. You know what? It just hit me. Like, if you were reading this, even as a little fella, you'd be old as fuck now. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. How old, how old was Stan Lee, who was writing these as an adult? Stan, Stan Lee, Lee is dead. Stan Lee served I know he's in, dead, but how old was he Stan Lee he served in World War Two. He was from Holy that shit. generation. Yeah. yeah. 95, yeah. wow. No, yeah, you yeah. would be like... I mean, if you're older than me, you're really old. <laughs> like, I'm old, so... Yeah. We might talk about this a little bit more when we do uh, the next comic, but um, I think it kind of gives... Characters that were authentically in World War II gives them a little more provenance, if you know what I mean. It's like, yeah. anyone... Indiana Jones was set during World War II, mm -hmm. but 
he, but it, it was made in the 80s, right? Right, right, right. But like Captain America and Superman, the World War II comics are from, they weren't set yeah. in World War II. They were set in the present and yeah. they were made during World War yeah. II. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Captain America is a World War II hero. I mean, yeah, that was it, his whole like, thing. Literally, like as much as a fictional character can be, I mean, they were sending the comics out as propaganda yeah. to like soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At that that were fighting, like... Yeah, he literally did fight in World War II. It's weird. Yeah. Anyway, old comics. All right, so, oh, oh yeah, so August 1st, 1962. Ditko and Kirby did the penciling on this. All right, so Journey into Mystery 83. So fair market value they are saying for a 9.2 would be $210,000. Okay. That's a, so oh, that's, uh, okay. that's, I think, less than I the first Iron okay, Man or now, the first... Uh, yeah. More than the first Hulk, though, isn't it? No, it's less than the the first Hulk was, was like 300, 300 yeah. something thousand, yeah. and oh. then Iron Man was a little now, bit more than this. There's quite a bit of a difference between the point two and the point oh nine, the nine point oh and the yeah. nine point two. There is a bit of a difference there, so it might be a little. And these are both fair market values, yeah. so quite a good investment. Had you purchased it for twelve cents? For twelve cents back then, yes. Yes. All right. Wait, which was the one whose uh, their first appearance wasn't an issue one of the series? Uh, well, there is, there's Thor, who first mm -hmm. appears in Journey into Mystery mm -hmm. 83. <laughs> and also Iron Man, who was in Tales of Suspense. Oh, Iron Man's first thing. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So Iron Man's first uh, comic was more than this one, though. Yes, well, a little bit. Iron Man's uh, <laughs> several issues, right? Because he didn't get his own comic. He was in Tales of Suspense. Yeah, he's in Tales of Suspense. Yeah, he just yeah that's of the one I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. He eventually, basically what happened was, these were all sci-fi comics. I mean, you've seen the kind of sci-fi stories they would show, like with the Ken... Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and like last rocket and yes, whatever. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. basically these comics used to be just like three of those stories. Okay. So then science, science superheroes science. took over usually the first one, which would mm -hmm. be like longer. Those mm -hmm. are only like five pages. The first story is usually 15. And then eventually superheroes would just take over the entire book, but they still retained these odd titles like journey into mm -hmm. mystery and then near the end of the 60s, they canceled all of those and they just relaunched. The people who didn't have them, we got like Iron Man 1, mm -hmm. we got Captain America, whatever. Okay. Um, so then those are first issues. And of those, those are first issues, uh, but it is not, lines, they are not first appearances. first appearances. Okay. Okay. We do, we are approved by the Comic Code. All Good right. to know. Journey into Mystery. Introducing the Mighty Thor. The most exciting superhero of all time. Well, you know, I mean, Chris Hemsworth is pretty good looking, and I would say yes. Exciting. Begin the saga of Thor in this issue. So we're going to find out how Thor came to New York. Uh, well, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm not even going to hold you in suspense on that. That will not be in this. So comic. that's not the beginning of our saga. No, okay. no, no, no. Okay. So we don't get an origin story. It is an origin story. Yeah. So now we had an origin story for say Iron Man and I know mm -hmm. there's a good origin. St so when you start Iron Man over again, so, like, in Iron Man issue one, do you get the origin story again? Or no. Or do you just continue? No, on? Iron Man issue okay. one just was, so like... The first appearances <laughs> we're just still are, going. are origin stories. Okay. They may have given, like, a little bit of, uh, like, of a... a background? Of, like, a, hey, this is kind of who Iron Man is. But, yeah. like, for the most part, it's but, basically, like, but we presume I, you were reading but Tales I of Suspense. I did not pick up Tales of Suspense, and I just uh, see Iron Man, I'm like, hey, issue yeah. one, I'm going to read this. I would not have gotten to know about the no. file cabinet full of rocks. No. <laughs> no, you would not. Okay. They right. presume anyone who's picking up a copy of Iron Man number oh. one is doing so because they oh. liked Tales of Suspense. Fair enough. Thor the Mighty. Look at those squiggly lines. And the Stone Men from Saturn. From Saturn? See, Saturn's I, like a gaseous planet. I don't know how this fits into the Marvel Universe because uh, where is 
Isaac and Mentor and stuff. They're on. They might be on Jupiter. I forget where they're at. Another gaseous planet. Here's my problem. They're stone men. How are they I don't know Saturn? if the stone men still inhabit Saturn. I have, as of How? 1984, I have yet to see the stone Maybe men reappear. Maybe they're from one of Saturn's moons or from the but rings. They have to be from the rings, right? Well, they, feel, the moons, they live on the rings. Well, okay. they're stone men, so maybe they just maybe they just like <laughs> hover in the clouds. They just you're saying stone men float. Maybe they're from the rings. Maybe that, the rings we are the stone saying. men. Yeah, that's what I was just that saying. The the rings, or or possibly the moon, or something, because you're not going to get stones we, from Saturn. But do we know if Saturn doesn't have a solid car? Uh, it's pretty much. I well, yeah, I, we I don't think know. It's, it's I kind think, of. I think I heard at some point we don't know what's it, in the middle. Yeah, yeah, we don't know. It's pretty gaseous though. Yeah. It is like, pretty gaseous. Yeah. All right. Do we want a creative answer, a balanced answer, or a precise answer? Precise, please. All right. Precise. Oh, it even brought up a little picture for us. Look at that. That's nice. That looks like Saturn. At Saturn's center is a dense core of metals like iron and nickel, surrounded by rocky material. Rocky oh, material! So we could have some... Okay, oh my so god. Stone men confirmed. Cool. Stone men can come from Saturn. There okay. you go. Now we know. Now we know. Oh, well, I'm glad we verified this. All right. So Anyway, so I around guess... the core there is uh, ammonia, methane, and water. Back to enough talk, enough gawking about how much I love AI. Okay. All right, so we so confirmed there can be stone men from Saturn. Confirmed, I'm, I'm stone men from Saturn confirmed. You they know, exist. I have to get these um, points of science. <laughs> yeah, down. exactly. Transistors cutting through metal <laughs> was a bit much, but stone men from Saturn confirmed. The legend has come true. By the will of the gods, I am alive. I am. Invincible! I am Thor! Alright, so he just appears? Like yeah. that's his origin? He just pops into existence? <laughs> well, no. Our story opens on the windy coast of Norway. <laughs> okay. Where we see a frail figure silhouetted against the bleak sky. He is Dr. Don Blake. An American vacationing in Europe. And as Dr. Blake turns and leaves the site, he doesn't see the strange alien spaceship which silently lands behind him. Okay. See? So, Thor's an alien? No. I'm <laughs> You're really not understanding this. I know. David, that you we're... understand. Yeah, he's going to get, like, bit by a radioactive spider alien. <laughs> he's going to be bitten by a radioactive Asgardian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Flying around in a spaceship in Norway. Two principals in a grim pageant, neither one noticing the other. But how different would things be if they were to meet at this moment? How different would be the future of all mankind? What the fuck is that metaphor about two principals in a pageant? Uh, they, the spaceship and Dr. Donald Blake are both principal performers in the grand pageant of life. Oh, pageant. principal performers. So... Okay. I, thought, I was thinking like two principals of a school. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're grim, just like... In a grim school pageant. With they're, just, yeah. <laughs> they're just like principals and important. Yeah. So the graphics here appear to indicate that the spaceship fell out of the sky. Silently. And womp onto the ground. Silently. Silently. Okay. So no womp. Stone men. I knew it was going to be the stone men. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Well, of course. Who else would turn up in a fucking spaceship? <laughs> but ours is a drama decreed by the fates to be acted out. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can change it. Watch and see. And who the fuck is Gore? <laughs> yeah, now who the fuck is Gore? So this one is Gore. The one on the right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the right, one on the hard. left is going to be the stone man leader. Okay. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. The leader comes out first or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What kind of voice will we give these? I don't know. Should we do the same voice or should we do wildly divergent voices? <laughs> Since I'm presuming Gar is a more return, a re more recurring character than no, the Nameless. No, he is leader. not. <laughs> nameless... Gore is a... No, we are never going to actually specifically make it clear who anyone is. Gore is only one name that's okay. used once, but they all just okay. look like stone men. Yeah. <laughs> in every panel... Like picking, picking the guy on the right, I'm like, how can you tell that's Gore? 
Oh, at last we are on Earth. This atmosphere it is so different from our own planet. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that is to our advantage. On Saturn, we are mighty beings. But here in this oxygen atmosphere, our strength is even greater. Meow, now easily I lift this plant thing out of the ground. How would it know what's a plant? <laughs> plants on Saturn? Has it seen a plant? Apparently there are. This plant thing. This plant, then. Yeah. Like, thing, you don't really get the same thing. It's like, you redundant. have the concept of what plants are. Like I wonder if, here. like, they thought adding plants, uh, the adding thing at the end made it clear. It's like, oh, yeah, they don't have the concept it's of like, a plant. It's like, it's like, it's <laughs> yeah, even though he brain, uses it. It's Neil Brain yeah, exactly. with his humanoid. Ha! Huh. Well done, Gore. Now watch as I prove the invulnerability of our stone bodies. I'm watching. I'm watching. This is a stupid idea. <laughs> Without the slightest hesitation, I jump. He's gonna bust himself <laughs> on the rocks. For I know that nothing on this puny earth. He's become Richard Nixon. <laughs> he is becoming Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> Can harm me. He's even doing the V sign. <laughs> yeah, at yeah, this point, he he's there's a helicopter the behind him. Yeah, 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 yeah. But one pair of eyes does. See the awesome aliens, the eyes of an aged fisherman. It's written like someone said that no one was seeing the aliens. Yeah, yeah. So on. I think they're referring to the that first page where it's like, oh, Doctor Donald Blake didn't notice yeah. the ship oh. behind him. So I'm on. I'm on the fucking Zoomer brain. I don't have that sort of memory. <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe, maybe in the '60s, kids yeah. did. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So which one of these will be? Yeah, who's Gore and who's oh, yeah. the leader? That's what you guys need. All right, I think Gore will come first, and then leader will come last. Sure. You just want to say weapons and bones. <laughs> By the beard of Odin, what have I stumbled onto? And if our strength were not enough, we could rely on our weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was a that was a hardy breed. I'm gonna need a second. <laughs> yep. They're just destroying all the trees in Norway. <laughs> yeah, they fucking hate trees. It will be child's play to conquer this planet when our main invasion force arrives. I must run to the village and sound the alarm. But when the old fisherman tells his story. Stone creatures from outer space? What nonsense do you speak? Be gone, old man! Do not waste our time with fairy tales! It sounds fantastic, and yet the man doesn't appear mad. I wonder. What does appear mad look like? <laughs> uh, not know. this. Uh, Should yeah. he be like sticking his tongue out and making <laughs> face? When <laughs> googly eyes. Like, anything other than what this guy looks like. <laughs> Bleeding hands and a red hat. Not mad. Okay. The following day, Dr. Don Blake decides to explore the coastal area described by the fisherman. So I'm out there on jagged rocks with my cane. Yes. I like that unlike Anthony Stark, we do shorten Donald to just Don. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're just, we're Dr. Don. We're Dr. <laughs> Dr. Don. Don. So far, I've seen no sign... Wait, what's this? Footprints! They lead around the bend! It's them! The aliens! They're just as he said they were. Men of stone! Remember, death to any who discover our presence. If they find me here, they'll kill me. I'd better leave while- Snap! Blast it! I stepped on a twig. Lo, in Earthling, he has seen us. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> After him. Do not let him escape. I, I can't run fast enough. They'll soon catch up to me. Oh, I tripped. 
on a stone man? Or is he cl- no, oh, he's no, on the he stones. Was, okay, he's on, on the, the stone men. I, it was the same coloring. I was very confused. <laughs> They're stones. I'm helpless without my cane. Wait, perhaps I can hide in those caves. What would a cane do against stone man? That's <laughs> I don't know. How is he hel- think, he's helpless? With well, a cane, cane would help him walk, presumably. Would help him get away, I guess. <laughs> Well, he didn't because he tripped. Yeah, well, that's just because yeah, he's an yeah. idiot. Made it. But they're bound to find me soon. If only there were a way out. Back there! There is another exit! Oh, the snowmen are just outside like, Oh, where did he go? Couldn't have been in the only cave <laughs> right outside where he lost his key. Look, I found his key. <laughs> <laughs> but it's blocked by this boulder. Ugh... <laughs> it's hopeless. <laughs> Why did he really think he's gonna move a thirty-ton boulder? Uh, I'm gonna insert is... the clip of fucking Chris Redfield. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, 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 punch uh, uh, a fucking rock. Fucking Just rock. Punch the fucking rock. <laughs> Just be a fucking man. Yes, for absolutely. two seconds, Doctor Doctor. Right. Watch- what is the boulder blocking, though? I can't tell from this picture at all. I don't <laughs> the know. Other the other exit, I guess. Another boulder that is blocking the other exit. So there's like two 30-ton boulders. It's like, yeah, there's a conga line of boulders. <laughs> so I don't know. What the fuck? But it's blocked by this boulder. Ugh. It's hopeless. I can't budget at all. Oh, time to give up. I love your giving up voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, the cave is so dank, so gloomy. <laughs> I just, he's just gone into despair because he lost his cane. Was, was Zach in the cave earlier? I, I don't know. The cave is so he's, dank. He's so sad. He is. He's just, it's he's a, just it's like, the well. Saddest, it's the saddest man in the world. <laughs> Because he's just, you know, I mean, he's being chased uh, by Stone Man. He can't move a boulder. Oh, man. <laughs> Crying now, because, you know. Because <laughs> you're so sad. I'm so sad. This right. art is so touching. The cave is so dank, so gloomy, and airless. It seems no human is <laughs> in <laughs> because this is so teenage soap opera. <laughs> sorry. This is why we have David read the uh, oh protagonist. God. Usually read the heroes. You yeah. can't even be plaintive. Oh my God. This is terrible. This picture, right. this should be the thumbnail of the video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, David knows how to sound really sad to get the empathy. I'm but Mary just bursts out laughing. But it's so sad. Stupid. There's just nothing funnier to marry than All someone right. in this uh, Yeah, than somebody to bow down. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm going to cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fucking hell. Right. Okay. Heat stroke. Heat stroke. Yeah, Sorry. Right. Heat, heat stroke. stroke. All right. Come on. This is your hearty breathe. <laughs> this heat stroke better never end for you. This is the best experience. I can do this. You got it. Sorry, I got the giggles now. Okay. The cave is so dank, so gloomy and airless. It seems no human has set foot in here for ages. Might as well wait for the stone men. side you can cut in from the side <laughs> i might as well wait for the stone men to find me i i'm trapped <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay all right oh my god that was emotional <laughs> emotional just... panel we've had in this entire series so Several far. Several emotions were felt, yeah. I, uh, yeah, so apparently oh. Don, Dr. Don has gone from, I'm gonna solve the mystery to, I'm I think, dead. I think I can push this rock. No, I can't. 
I think he's yeah. To, uh, I, is he bipolar? At the, is he is he bipolar? Because I'm like, oh, oh I can move a thirty ton rock. <laughs> I no, I can't. Guess I'm gonna die. Than me. <laughs> yeah. I guess the problem is we don't know how much time passes between all. I guess. Panels. I guess. But for, I for all we know, he was off that rock. For all like 10 I can minutes. say is there was a mood swing. Yeah, it's swung. But suddenly, the wall is. Opening. I must have pressed some kind of hidden lever when I leaned against it. Since when was the boulder a perfect fucking square? <laughs> I whined so hard that the yeah. wall spontaneously opened. Yeah. The cave felt sorry for me. <laughs> that is insanity. Oh, man. Anyway, so he pressed some kind of a hidden lever, I okay. guess. That no, was no, lucky. the cave felt bad for him. That's what I think happened. It honestly makes more sense because we don't confirm it here. I right. must have. Yeah, I, I must <laughs> but have. As far as we know, he didn't. Yeah, I well, because when he leaned why against the wall, crying. Hidden, why would there be a hidden lever in this cave? Because it's a secret chamber. <laughs> 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 anyway, you can take it from butt, I guess, if you want to. It's a secret chamber. But there's nothing inside. Except that gnarled wooden stick. Like an ancient cane. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Heatstroke did wonders for this show. <laughs> it seems... Apparently, Absolutely. I just need to, like, garden for three hours in well, obscene heat. And to be fair, it's pretty speak. warm in this room. Mm -hmm. Oh, I still look sad, though. Look at me with my sad hair and my sad eyes. And I'm, my tie's all undone. I may as well wait for the stone men to find me. That's such like a little boy I know, thing to I'm say. Just, he's, like, he's like throwing a teenage tantrum. He's, he's acting like, like he's 12. He's like he's 8. Yeah. All right. Anyway, all right. Wonder, perhaps by using this as a lever, I can move the boulder. Oh, we're doing a little Archimedes. Yeah, give me a lever. I get doing a little Archimedes, because see, because we're okay. What? <laughs> this will not work. This is this. Archimedes. Okay. Does he understand the concept of lever? It's a simple machine, and you notice it's a rigid rod pivoted at a fixed hinge. I'm hoping it's going to show us a picture. Or fulcrum. No, we did not. no, we did not get into that. So I guess he's going to, what, dig it under oh, the rock and use the... Uh... What are the three types of levers? <clears throat> there you go. There you go. I'm sure stick and rock is not one of them. <laughs> There are three types of levers, classified according to the relative position of the fulcrum load and effort. The three types are first class lever, second class <laughs> lever, third class lever. Uh, those are creative names. Oh, there's your pictures. There's images of levers. I don't know where In a first is. class lever, the fulcrum is located between the load and the effort. No, we're not using a first class lever. All right. In a second class lever, the load is located between the fulcrum and the effort. A, an example of a second class lever is a wheelbarrow. I don't think he's. I don't think. He's well, maybe he is. Maybe it's well because the okay. So I guess the fulcrum. He's gonna jam it under the rock, right? And then the mm -hmm. fulcrum's gonna be the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Which okay. is a shit fulcrum. And yeah. Probably gonna become soft or whatever. Yeah. Like if he put a rock. Yeah. Under his that would stick. Be that would work. Yeah. But or I the feel stick like, would break. Yeah, or the stick would break. Or the stick because, is obviously going to fucking break, yeah. Well, yeah, because it's a 30 fucking ton rock. So let's go yeah. back to this picture and look at what Dr. Blake... No fulcrum. <laughs> no fulcrum. No. And it's a wooden stick. And it's a wooden stick. But it is an... It's a gnarled wooden stick. It's a pretty gnarly stick, yeah. Okay. Uh, I... I still can't budge it, but I must keep trying mustn't give up it's my only chance to escape <laughs> apparently this gnarled stick <laughs> that i'm not using correctly as a lever no it it's hopeless even a bulldozer couldn't move that giant rock in helpless anger 
Don Blake strikes the useless cane against the immovable boulder. And as he does so. What? <laughs> that was, that was almost the Tim Allen. <laughs> that was pretty good. You like that? I like that. That was a good one, yeah. I love how they describe it to make him sound like as pathetic as possible. Yeah, no, yeah. He, he is just a sad, pathetic loser. Don Blake. Yeah. 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 I don't think uh, I'm sure they're going for like a juxtaposition thing, but I don't think it, it doesn't work. It just <laughs> yeah. makes our hero seem like a loser. He's a real bitch. Thor's going to be the adult in the room. Like, Tony Stark is cooler than this guy so far. Oh, that's yeah. sad. Yeah, that is Yeah, sad. absolutely, that's yeah. Sad. Don Blake's a loser. That's all Anthony I Stark. I'm saying this. Like, this isn't the narrator describing... No, this is you. Yeah, oh, go okay. for it. So I'm narrating the mutational change that is coming yes. over me. Okay, I feel like that's weird. It's happening. <laughs> the, is the word bubble not coming out of the guy's head? And it is a pointy word bubble. Yeah, it's not exactly. like a thought bubble. It's, it's... Yeah. It's, okay. All right, read it. Here I go. The cave is bathed in blinding light, like a fiery bolt of lightning. And the ancient cane, it... It's changing shape! And I'm changing too! <laughs> and I'm changing too! Can this be really happening? Or am I going mad? No, it isn't mad! I can feel my body bursting with power! Power such as I've never known! The cane. It has become a mighty hammer. And I have been transformed into... Into... Wait. There are words inscribed on the hammer. <laughs> we're still... We're shrouded in mm -hmm. shadow here. We haven't properly been introduced to Thor yet. All right. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy shall possess the power of Thor. This is quote, so lame. Uh, quote, was just like, unquote. <laughs> <laughs> I hate how it's, it's printed like a fuck. It looks factory med. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. So this is it. This is... That's my gnarled stick right there. It's they couldn't have even Thor! had like a cool gothic font or something. No, no. Yay! Like it should be somewhat runic, right? Because it's Norse. Right? Yeah, yeah, like Thor was in this fucking <laughs> roundy, fucking cutesy looking bald yeah, font. It's in, it's in like Comic Sans. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Thor, the legendary god of thunder, the mightiest warrior of all mythology. This is his hammer, and I. I am Thor! <laughs> Look at how happy he is. I know! He's like, He's yes! Like, I know, I was I am Thor, baby! A few moments ago, I couldn't even budge this boulder. But now... <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> we really got blue-balled there. That's part one. Man, <laughs> That's the that end of was... part one. Damn. Alright, so I what did you guys mean... think of part one? <clears throat> Uh, Donald Blake is a pussy. <laughs> Dr. Don's a loser. <laughs> he's, he's really, he's yeah, just, just immediately, really, he's immediately defeated. <laughs> My favorite line. I don't know where the hell those stone men were, because it couldn't have been I know, the stone men just I fucked just, off. Those yeah. stone men are dallying outside. Those stone men stopped caring <laughs> about <laughs> Dr. Donald Blake. It's like, oh, they're, they're like, oh my god, god he's, he's a loser. I mean, think about it like this. If you were planning on conquering the entire planet Earth, how much time would you spend worrying about that guy? Uh, not at all. <clears throat> not at all. Why is there a secret compartment in the cave? That is like never explained. <laughs> even like it's later comics, cave. even in later comics, they never really explain like what is up with that secret chamber. It's always, they always just kind of vagify <laughs> it and make it like, oh, he found it in a cave, in a strange mm -hmm. cave. It, it, well, that was a strange cave, but it yeah. seemed like just a normal cave with a weird room in it. Yeah. And, and he whined enough that the yeah. gnarled stick. You know, at the start of that, I was actually pleasantly pleased. I was like, he's going out to investigate the aliens on his mm -hmm. own, despite, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. being crippled and stuff. It's like, wow, so he's, he's got, like, some bravery. That's a nice character trait. Yeah, no. <laughs> but, I don't know how he got I out there. I may as well just, <laughs> just die. I'm just going to die now. Just, uh, yeah, the weird mood swings. Are... And then he just started winching, yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. 
That's my favorite line this entire show so far. <laughs> I may as well let I them may stone as well men fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, part two: the power of Thor. I can lift it as if it were cardboard. <laughs> Look at how weird Thor's face is. Yeah, I mean you could just bust it with your hammer too. Yeah, I could. The stone creatures will never suspect that their frail quarry escaped through this rear exit. What happens now? Do I walk amidst the civilized world as a mythological god? Or... Hmm, it is too bewildering. I must pause and think it out. Really? <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. really. So I'm going to get in my thinker position. Yeah, he's having a think. <clears throat> Should I walk amongst the civilized world as a mythological god? I guess or... the comic series proves that, yeah, I guess he should. I mean, you could. <laughs> yeah, he That's does. That's an option. Yeah, in the movies, he just does that, yeah. Thor, hmm, the god of thunder. What do I remember of him from my school days? He was the noblest and the strongest of all the Norse gods. And Thor just complimenting himself. Laugh. Well, oh. I'm trying to list the pros and the cons of walking amongst the civilized world as a mythological god. Yeah, the distinguishing between <clears throat> Dr. Donald Blake and Thor is not clear yet as yeah. of the first issue. Yeah. The fourth day of the week, Thursday, was named in his honor. He was... What? What's happening to me? I'm... I'm changing again. I'm back to normal once more. But how? What caused it? Wait, the inscription on the hammer. All right, let's get a closer look at this hammer. David, you were complaining before. Mm-hmm. That the plot was. Was, was shitty? Maybe, maybe this will change your mind. Whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy shall possess the power of Thor. The if he be worthy part. Yeah. Donald Blake yeah, is a whiny was, bitch. <laughs> what are you talking about? Part. That was important. Like, he, yeah, he's, he's wasting time it? not he's to technically, the stone man. Okay, he's technically not worthy, but he whined so much that the hammer was just like, oh my god, I gotta <laughs> just get out of my fucking cave. <laughs> like, I will just open the door for you, come in, my opinion, not worthy. And that's like, a, wait, you're using me as, you're just yeah. sticking me in the ground? What yeah. are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. I must continually hold the hammer to retain Thor's strength. This guy's bright. He <laughs> is very intelligent, this and man. You have a PhD. He, yes. I let go of it... In about 60 seconds, I revert back to my normal self. Was and he it, counting in his head? By the way, it's not about 60 seconds. It is exactly 60 seconds. Oh. In the comics, they have countdowns. Like, you can uh, time it. Okay. As soon as it leaves his hand, he loses an, and as soon as it's got, got out of his hand, okay. you got a 60 second timer right. going. So, okay. So, we just, we, we, we ballparked it here. What doesn't make sense here is why it's a <laughs> hammer still. Uh, yeah, it should I have transformed become, back into cane. the cane. I'm confused. By the hammer thing. cane thing in these early issues is not really fully fleshed out yet. Okay. Basically, what happens is when he hits it on the ground, the cane turns into hammer. He turns into Thor. Hammer leaves his hand. 60 seconds go by. He turns back into Dr. Donald Blake. The hammer should turn back into a cane. Now, in these early issues... They're not consistent about it, but that's just because the writing is but inconsistent. But hit the, can the rock with the cane, and that's what turned, that's him, what turned him into it. According to the legend, Thor's hammer had other characteristics. One is that it was so heavy, none but mighty Thor could lift it. The legends also say the hammer is enchanted. Whenever Thor hurls it from him, it must return. All right. <laughs> so we're so just we've set up the boomerang. We're just getting like the lowdown on Thor here. Uh, like we're just going to go down in case the 10-year-old's reading the comic Basically, you are not in case aware you're curious what Thor's superpowers are, it's <laughs> that if he throws a hammer it comes back to him and he's kind of strong. Yep, that's about it. 
Also, the hammer is invincible. All right. I'm going to destroy a tree just like the stone man. Um, I think you mean a plant wow. thing. <laughs> yes, a plant <laughs> thing. Nothing can resist it. Uh, oh my god, it's just like Pierre Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing can stop him. Nope. Oh my god, is that a grenade? Oh, <gasps> no, Nothing. It, it always bothered me in the movies, and then they actually address it in the third movie. What's Thor god of? Thunder. Thunder. Yeah. What's his powers? Well, we're actually still getting them, because we're actually <laughs> introducing a new one right now, so maybe we'll put a pin in this for a second. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. All right. His blood boiling with excitement... The transformed doctor continues to experiment <clears throat> with his mystic weapon, which is what he calls it. Mm -hmm. Thump, thump. <laughs> <laughs> By stamping the handle twice on the ground, because this is in the legends, I can create rain or snow. And by the way, these powers apply to the cane as well as the oh, hammer. Oh, so I can just tap Ooh, that's the... Nice. Which soon grow into a raging tornado. All the power of the storm is Thor's to command. You're very calm in the midst of this storm. Well, I'm Thor. <laughs> yeah. All the power is... I mean, the I'm command. Thor. Yeah. Boom! I mean, I realize my blood is boiling with excitement, yeah. <laughs> but if we notice Dr. Dawn earlier, he was really down, so boiling yeah. with excitement just makes me normal. <laughs> <laughs> then, ooh, to end the storm. How does he know this? He's just, like, making this <laughs> shit up. He's pulling this crap out he, of his He ass. read all this in school. <laughs> the, this is nowhere At the start, it any... was pretty vague. It was stuff like, oh, Thursday. Thor's day. Yeah. Oh, and if he hits his hammer twice on the ground. <laughs> okay, if it always comes back to me, why do I need the little tag on the bottom of it? Because you put that around your wrist, and then in you spin it a lot, and it? then you okay. throw it, and that's how Thor flies. Oh. Thor actually can't fly. But his hammer can. Well, not really. He can just throw it really so hard. Okay, so what you're saying is all Superman y, he leaps yes. instead of flies. Technically, it is more like how okay. Superman is supposed to be. Okay. <clears throat> classic Thor, much like classic Superman, is not able to fly. Then, to end the storm, I merely stamp this handle one, two, three times on the ground. Oh, but if I should stamp it but once, the hammer changes back into a cane and I once again become Dr. Dawn Blake. It's a good thing I did the two first before I did the one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because before, I had to let go of the hammer and then wait 60 seconds to turn back into Don Blake. But now, all of a sudden, I just know that if I stamp it once, I'm going to turn back. If I stamp it twice, I get rain. If I stamp it three times, it all stops. Yeah. But I well, didn't know. Already... When I, but when I walked out of the cave, I let the hammer drop, and I didn't know what the hell was happening. No. You got a this lot of already lines. better than the movie <laughs> <No>. tar. <laughs> you like this better so far? Because the movie Thor, like, they made fun of it in the series. It took until the third movie for him to get any lightning powers. Exactly, yeah. And we got it first issue here. Well, yeah. he had he had issues. I mean, he couldn't even pick up his hammer in the first movie. I think if we've learned anything, it's that this comic book is better than uh, Thor. You yeah. just, you just, just like better. Moody Dr. Dawn. I do like Moody Dr. Dawn. Like, <laughs> I may as well stay here and let the stone <laughs> men... Stone men find me. <laughs> Think the most incredible power of all time has been hidden in that cave, waiting to be found. That does seem odd, but <laughs> it I does won't seem odd, it. <laughs> but we will not question it further. But I've wasted enough time. <laughs> the world must be warned of the presence of the stone men. Oh, right, the back, plot. Back on task now. But even at that moment. On a NATO airbase. It's a fleet of unidentified flying objects. Alert all our military units and scramble the jets. The humans end up armed aircrafts. We shall soon dispose of them. Set up the monster image. A moment later, a huge three-dimensional picture flashes across the sky because in saturn they have dragons yeah 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 yeah. what what in the name of heaven is it it's heading right for us 
We can't bank in time! Bail out! Hit the silk! So they just made a scary monster and then everyone yeah, just and like... everybody ejected from the jets. Yeah. I yeah, mean, let them go down in the Atlantic. Who the hell cares? What the fuck is this? How easily? We tricked the Earthlings. Naturally. The humans are a primitive race. It shall be child's play to conquer them. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like a crystal man. <laughs> that's just Tara's explanation for it. <laughs> that's yep, true. Yeah. Behold how they try to stop us with missiles. As though mere rockets could penetrate our atomic force fields. We Earthlings have nothing that can keep us from descending upon them. Nothing. <laughs> and Dr. Don Blake is watching this. Like, yes, from can. the ground, he's yeah. looking up. <laughs> so I guess all of Norway can see this happen. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Earth's weapons are useless against the invaders, but perhaps what 20th century science can't do... Thump. <laughs> you just slapped the leg like a real pro wrestler. The God of Thunder can! Strange. A moment ago, the sky was clearer, yet now there is a storm brewing. How can this be? Our weather instruments did not forecast. Yet, I didn't need to turn into Thor to make the storm. I could have just hit my cane. I he's yeah. just he's just high would, on. Would the you power. want to? Would you want to use Thor's powers and not be? Well, Thor? I don't know why I ever <laughs> turned back into Don Blake anyway. Well, yeah, exactly. I, I would just be Thor the whole time. Yeah. Well, I don't know, I mean, you, if you summon the storm what, as you were normal dawn, you'd just hurt yourself, right? What are you guys talking about, guys? I mean, if anything, you would have found this power and just thrown it away so that you could continue to be Dr. Donald Blake Dr. at Donald all Blake. times. No, 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 no. <laughs> Absolutely. The enemy is a long distance from me, yet by using the might of Thor and whirling my hammer with the speed of lightning, I may yet be able to streak through the sky as the thunder god should. There, I release my whirling hammer for a split second, catching the unbreakable thong, and then I am pulled along after it like the tail of a rocket. I was not expecting him to talk about an unbreakable thong. I have not <laughs> noticed that he narrates everything? So yeah, you were you were. Uh, and I have an unbreakable thong. You mentioned the uh, little leather strap coming yeah, off it before. Yeah. That's well, what it's there for. That was the unbreakable thong. So he thong. can do this, David. And I noticed it several panels back. The unbreakable yeah. thong. Mary knows Trigger. a lot about unbreakable mm -hmm. thongs. So Thor, the mighty, strikes back. Yeah, we really haven't been moving this. There's a lot of exposition. Yeah. Behold. An Earthling flying through the air to attack us. Do not slay him. He must be captured and studied. Capture him? Ow! His whirling weapon holds us at bay. Wait. He is directly beneath our captive cage. Oh, that's fucking handy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why that was just hovering above me, but okay. In a moment, he will be our helpless prisoner. Captive cage deployed. I guess this is the captive cage yeah. swooping, swooping down on top of him. This is a captive. weird contraption. It is a weird contraption. Oh my oh. god. Ha! He is ours. Todd. <laughs> ah. Very nice. The earthling is powerless. No. Observe. It is impossible. Iron bars do not a prison make. He's Yoda now? Not when the prisoner has the might of Thor. The Earthling is too powerful. He'll be captured alive. He must be slain. Prepare to disintegrate him. But before the ruthless invaders can fire... Our weapons... The Earthling cannot be stopped. You might as well just sit there and wait for Thor to come and find you, because it's hopeless. <laughs> it's hopeless now. 
No, the stone men have a little <laughs> oh, bit more oh, backbone okay. <laughs> than oh, Dr. Right, Donald. So they don't just immediately they try come like th- They try oh, at okay. least three oh, things okay. before giving All up. Right, before you just like, <laughs> oh, I failed. Yes, he can. Set the Meccano monster free. Be swift. It is done. Sire. Now. The enemy will surely meet his master. There is your foe. Attack him. Destroy him. That monstrosity looks like it has everything in its favor. Everything. Except... For the fact that I'm just Thor and this is a shitty robot I'm going to kill in the next panel. The mighty power of Thor! The hammer (laughs) of Thor! Oh my god, he's knocking down the shitty robot in a single panel! Yeah, look at the- look at the lightning coming out of my hammer. Yeah. Clang! Man, springs and gizmos fly- I bet there's a transistor in there somewhere. He has vanquished the Meccano monster. The human is too mighty, too skilled. In the art of battle. And we know not how many more there are like him on Earth. We might as well just wait for (laughs) them to come find us. (laughs) Oh, no, we're going to flee. Okay. This is the leader. We're not going to just lay down and die. Back. Back to the ships at once. We must flee this accursed planet. I've beaten them. I have proven that the power of the hammer and the might of the thunder god are invincible. Nothing can conquer Thor. Nothing. Here comes the infantry. If I remain here, they'll question me. They won't rest till they've learned my secret. I'll become an international curiosity. But all that can be avoided by one gesture. Thump. Look, the invaders are flying away. But why? What could have driven them off? I don't know. There's no one in sight. <laughs> There's only one Norwegian guy. <laughs> much, much like yeah, Nor- the real yeah. NATO, everyone is American, but there's like one European there's guy like somewhere. Norway's in NATO, right? <laughs> we, know, yeah. Yeah. we know, theoretically, there's like a couple uh, of Europeans in there. Is yeah, Norway? I mean, it's literally oh, yeah, yeah. in Norway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Except that lame passerby with an old old cane. Well, it's a cinch that skinny gent isn't Earth's secret weapon. The menace is ended. Now it's time for me to go back to the States, taking with me the greatest power ever known to mortal man. Editor's note. Thor. Er. Why is it spelled wrong? (laughs) (laughs) Editor's note. Thor. Er, the mighty, the greatest new superhero of all time, will appear regularly in Journey into Mystery. Reserve next month's issue at your news dealer now. It's sure to be a sellout. The end. Why did they put an extra R on there? They just misspelled it. Yeah, they just didn't know what Thor's name was, so for this panel they put in two R's. How do you manage to misspell it's it? It's a little bit, know, you know, it's a little embarrassing. I'll admit it. <laughs> they did misspell <laughs> just, the main character's name in the last yeah. panel. You know, and it's an the error. And the giant fucking red text, too. Yeah. But hey, yeah. which one of us hasn't made a mistake at some point in our lives? Right, guys? <laughs> okay. All right. All right, so what did you guys think of uh, Journey into Mystery 83? That was kind of fun. Yeah, we. Uh, I mean, there were some ups and downs. It was a roller coaster. There it was were a roller coaster. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say that most. There were coaster. two more science fiction comics that are just not included in this collection, but they were in the original comic book, okay. which is why we're ending a little bit early. I was gonna it say that. Seems I feel like, like that short. We didn't. Which get is any. why I actually prepared a little bit extra for oh, us. Oh my goodness! Okay. So guys, I have two comics ready this week. Okay. Or yeah. another journey into mystery. Another we were one. just gonna skip this is eighty-four. Next month? Uh, so not going to do the next no, month's issue. Next this month. is basically, uh, Woo. Woo, look at in me. this one, Woo. Thor just fights communism again. Okay. Uh, I hope you didn't think we weren't going to get through an entire episode without talking about communism. Well, um, I mean, in this it's, one, it's the Red Menace. Yeah, in this one, he just fights communism again. It's, you kind of know what the plot is going to be like. How it's going to be do like, what I must without revealing my most precious secret. Yeah, so this is the Executioner. Uh, That's Jane Foster. She does get introduced Uh, in this one. She's a nurse. But, um, 
yeah, so the, we just kind of recap, and then, uh, yeah. yeah, he was just back in America now, and this is his nurse, so we're just back to the status quo. Anyway, we're going to skip all this, All right. because he just gets abducted and sent okay. to Russia, and then communism, you know, oh, communism, communism, obviously, communism. yeah, communism. And then I gotta, and then I gotta more use communism. a tree. I need to use a tree. There's more, There's more communism there. here. Uh, this evil communist um, oh, yeah, wants does. to force uh, Jane Foster right. to marry him. Oh, yeah. This is a weird thing where, like, clearly the writer <laughs> wanted to introduce rape as a concept, but mm -hmm. they couldn't get away with that with the well, comics you code. Have to marry the woman. So they can. always have these like get, like evil guys. They're just like, gonna "You're gonna married. marry me. Yeah. I'm gonna take you to a church, and we're gonna have a wedding." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like anyway, so uh, yeah, and then Thor beats them. Uh, All right. So yeah. Anyway, the comic after that introduces Loki and Asgard. So okay. I thought that right. would be okay. the next comic All we right. would watch. All right. So before we move on to the comic we're reading next, uh, first off, let's start out with the uh, second appearance of Thor here. First appearance of Jane Foster. This is the uh, communist comic we're skipping. How much would you guess? The first appearance of Thor was 210,000. How mm -hmm. much are you guys guessing for this one? Like 50k. Yeah, I was going to say Jane Foster coming in. That's going to, yeah bring it down to like 50. All right. Uh, well, 9,350. 9, wow. I knew it was going to be a drop because who cares about the women? So, you know, but that's a lot. Uh, it was also the first, last, and only uh, appearance of The Executioner. Yeah, well. So, you know. All right. How about uh, the next comic we are reading, which is the first appearance of Loki and Odin? All right. That's going to be up in the 100,000s. All right, David? Uh, 20K. All right, David's All right. going 20, you're going 100. I'm going to go 100. All right. Uh, 28,000. So right. a little yeah. bit a little bit over David's. Yes, David. But that was in 2012, and fair market value down here we're saying is 40,000. So. That's for a 9.2. So we could be up in, you know, probably mm -hmm. about right between you, I would say. Mm -hmm. Split the difference. I'm guessing it's always a pretty uh, share drop after, like, first yeah, issues. Yeah, it's always easy to say, like, oh, if I had this comic book for 12 cents, I would have made so much, mm -hmm. you know, later. But a lot of these do not appreciate in value very As specific much. issues. I mean, you're still making a pretty good... With this, you are, yeah. But, like, with later, with, like, modern comics, mm -hmm. like, certain comics, even in the modern a age, do still appreciate with value, but the only very, very specific ones. Yeah. And a lot of them are just worth cover price. Journey into mystery. Never before has the mighty Thor faced a foe as dangerous as Loki, the god of mischief. Jesus, what kind of voice should I give Loki? <laughs> I don't know, but you got a stupid horn helmet on. I mean, he looks so, yeah, he looks really cringe. I'm thinking of giving him like a weenie voice, but I don't I don't know if I want to do that for the whole comic. Yeah. I challenge you to match your powers against mine, Thor. It is Loki, my sworn enemy. He has found me at last. Wait. You've just turned into Thor, ta and now you think you have sworn enemies and stuff. Yeah, um, like what? One Loki, your brother. <laughs> so, and sworn, sworn enemy I, they don't yeah, like each other the whole, the whole, all. take these other journeys into mystery in this great issue Filbert's frightful future oh, God. off limits which are not actually they're not no, actually really in this but those are the two other That's science fiction what stories we might be missing <laughs> well thank missing. god they're not here yeah. yeah I'm sorry David I don't know Filbert's frightful future oh no <laughs> They're, ne they're just never going to surpass the wishing dog. No. You know? Thor the Mighty, trapped by Loki, the god of mischief. Is that Loki again? Yes. yes it's the it's stupidest Loki. He looks headgear. completely different. No, he yeah. doesn't. Well, he's, he's got the... His helmet did change yeah, color. His, helmet his helmet's completely, completely different. Completely different. <laughs> his helmet, now he's got brown gloves on and a brown belt. I mean, yeah. It's vaguely the same. He's still got the okay. stupid horns. The horns are still there. Yeah. I mean, I should talk. I'm wearing stupid wings on my yeah. helmet, so, you know. At last you've met your match, Thor. The power of Loki is ever greater than yours. We'll see about it's that. It's not. You're the god of mischief. I'm the god of thunder. You think mischief is going to beat thunder? Beat mischief. 
Beyond our segment of time and space, there exists Asgard, the citadel of the Norse gods, which is connected to Earth by a rainbow bridge called Beerfrost. Beerfrost? <laughs> Bifrost, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Bifrost. Beer frost. Beer frost. <laughs> well, I, I, trans, I transposed the R oh, and the, the R F. And, okay. Which is connected to Earth by a rainbow bridge called Beef Frost. <laughs> no, you said you, called, you said rainbow yeah. twice yeah, as well. Like oh my god. Okay. You guys, it's so hot in here. We opened up the windows and it's yeah, still hot yeah. in here. Okay. <laughs> Heat stroke. Beyond our segment of time and space, there exists Asgard. The Citadel of the Norse Gods, which is connected to Earth by a rainbow bridge called Beer... Bifrost. <laughs> Bi called Bifrost. Very good. Bifrost. How did you not... We said it like <laughs> I know, times. it's hard. Yeah. It's so hot in here. Anyway, so this you know is... what annoys me about like these sci-fi settings and stuff? Yes. They always say that they have a different... Uh, they, they exist on a different plane of time and space, but like their time just works the exact same as yeah, ours. Yeah, it does. Exactly. What I really hate, honestly, I, and I'm just going to go into this because a comic I read recently involved time travel. It was a Captain mm -hmm. America comic with Deathlock. I'm not going to go into it, mm -hmm. but um, basically the thing I hate about Marvel time travel is that if you go back in time in like, it's like, it's Tuesday, you go back in time. You have three days of adventures, right? Mm -hmm. Like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Right. You come back on Thursday. You don't come back on Tuesday. It's so <laughs> stupid <laughs> because you're time traveling. Mm -hmm. Like if you're coming back, you can just come back to the moment you left. Why yeah. would you figure why out would time how, to why would you calculate count. how long you had been in the past and then add that onto the time that you left from and then come back oh, then? Oh, I see. It's yeah. so yeah, stupid yeah like the time doesn't need to pass in the future yeah but they're like no we should be fair like you would have lived this amount of your life yeah. so in order to compensate we're gonna put that you back weird. yeah do you think and it was on purpose i wonder if it's actually just them not really understanding the concept honestly it might be that because they're just like they're keep they keep counting back time still passed basically captain america yeah. had a date but he had to break it to go save the world back in time. But they're like cutting mm -hmm. to like the woman waiting for him. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. what the fuck is happening? He's in the, f he's not back in time. Yeah. He's in the future. Yeah. What do you, why yeah, are you cutting back clearly, to her waiting? Yeah, he would I go clearly back think to you're the, just going yeah. to like a different place in the same universe and like yeah. time is still passing yeah. in yeah, your yeah. So you're like, yeah. Really yeah, it's like the future is a different location. So <laughs> yeah, here's exactly, my yeah. question in regard to this comic. Dr. Downer Dawn. Uh-huh is crying in a cave and finds a cane. Yes. How the hell is Asgard real? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So this is the first introduction of Asgard in the comics. Like we said, we skipped through the other one, but it's basically just he's on Earth in New York and he okay. fights communists. Okay. This is our first introduction of Asgard, and this is how it's introduced. Okay. And in a remote part of Asgard, there stands a tree in which is imprisoned Loki, the god of mischief. Ages ago, the gods condemned me to be trapped within this tree. Here am I, destined to remain until my plight causes someone to shed a tear. Somebody yep. cries for Loki. Someone to be honest, you know what? I bet it's gonna be fucking Dr. Dawn. Yeah, cries. I bet it's Dr. Downer Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this is some mythology stuff. Like, that's something yeah, that I could yeah, see yeah. Odin doing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, you're playing. Because, like, oh, and no one would ever... You couldn't just say, you're trapped here forever. You have to be like, no. oh, I think this situation won't happen. So mm -hmm. I'll describe a very specific situation <laughs> that will, that will free you. When Dr. Downer Dawn starts to cry. Dr. Downer Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> but no inhabitant of Asgard will weep for me, for I am hated by all. However, for centuries I have been imposing my will upon this tree, until at last I can control it. Ah, uh, Heimdall, the warder of Bifrost, approaches. It's pronounced Beer Frost. Beer fr I prefer Beer Frost, it's more <laughs> yeah, Norse beer sound. Frost is... Having become master of the tree. <laughs> Loki, master of the tree. Mm -hmm. The villainous <laughs> Loki commands one of its leaves to break off and fall down into the eye of the passing deity. The impact of which causes Heimdall's eye to smart 
and shed a tear. <laughs> I have succeeded. So, Heimdall White. I mean, he's Norse. In movies. Heimdall's black. Oh, well, Heimdall's the bridge fella, yeah. <laughs> this is probably more accurate to the Norse <laughs> yes. mythology being, you know, Norse. Mm -hmm. Well, Arcs, I wouldn't know. expect that. To be fair, Asgard is kind of depicted as being like space aliens in Marvel, yeah. so it would make sense, I guess, no. to have dark-skinned as guardians. You know, it's up to you. It's okay. different interpretations it's for different people. Yeah, in the movies, it's moment. fine. They're just yeah. a different race. Yeah. yeah, they basically are in comics eventually. Here if too. anything, it, I mean, it creates its own problems because it's like, why would they have any affinity for Norway then if they're just aliens? Like, did aliens just yeah. specifically yeah. visit the Vikings? And also, no do you want to hear something fucked up about the comics code? Uh, you're not allowed to show black people at this point in comics, well, so it could off. be black. It I am not off. kidding. Yeah. It's a real thing. They well, actually... I mean, you don't want to corrupt the youth. Out of the show, we slowly unveil like all the fucked up things yeah, about the comics yeah. code yeah. as we go. Because of my plight, I was able to gain control of this tree. And thus, I was able to affect Heimdall's eye. Therefore, my plight did indeed cause him to shed a tear. Oh, oh, All right. See, Classic look, Loki gets out on a technicality. Loki. You know what? I'll yeah. give it credit. Because the... not evil, just yeah. mischievous. And yeah. pretty evil, too. Also, uh, uh, the writing is already just better than in the first comic. I'm just going to say that so far. This is, yeah. <laughs> like, this is just leagues above fucking stone men. Yeah, like they actually incorporated a bit of the mythology there. It's yeah, like, it's yeah, like, that's, that's how Loki would get out of this. It's hey, like he's clever. Thor had yeah. a hammer. That was in the mythology. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And he taps he was, it a yeah. certain number of times yeah, to get certain effects from it. And brings it in a circle to fly. That was yeah. definitely yeah. in some of the so, Norse legends. You know, let's not get down on Dr. Downer Dog. <laughs> that's <all> true. Right? <laughs> yeah, he's down enough. <laughs> that's true. Don't be mean to him. And now, by my cunning wit, I am at last free. Free to cause mischief, to create discord, and to seek revenge against the one responsible for my capture, Thor, the Thunder God. So Loki created discord. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought. That, was there a Thor before Dr. Don Blake? Well, there must have been. Well... I mean, this is the comic where we introduce Asgard and stuff. Like, up until this point, it wasn't really clear what Thor was. Now we're confirming here, obviously, he's literally Thor. Yeah. I mean, Asgard is real, Heimdall is real, but, Thor, but uh, for, Loki but is when real. But the, when the gnarled stick is just in the secret yeah. room, yeah. where's Thor? Yeah, I don't know yeah. why Thor isn't his own person and why he has to be mounted by Dr. Don. Yeah, well. Kind of weird. Maybe this comic will explain it, and no, it will maybe not. I don't think it will explain that part. <laughs> I don't think it will. I think yes. that's going to be a hole that they leave open for yep. this whole series, actually, <laughs> to be honest, Zach. Well, I'll tell you what. As of 1984, they have tried to plug it on, like, two... They really tried to plug it on, like, two occasions. Yeah. Um, and it kind of... It doesn't really work that well. Can I, can I guess <laughs> what it is? All right, guess. Uh, Dr. Don somehow is Thor. Like, Thor got reincarnated as a human at one point, or he's like a descendant of Thor somehow. That's that's how it's explained. That's pretty good, yeah. So... Not what they came up with. <laughs> it is kind of. Okay. Um, basically, Thor was just really egotistical, so Odin's like... Odin, like of all people, to be yeah. commenting on well, people's yeah, egoism. Because he's so humble. Well, but same he, in the movie. He's like, eh, fuck you, Thor. I'm going to turn you into a human for a while and take away your memory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and he just, and this is actually true. So like, he just assumed no one but Thor himself would be worthy of Thor. Mm -hmm. So he just put the cane down on Earth and just is like, well, eventually he'll find it. So the cool plot yeah, twist would be if Don actually isn't Thor, and yeah. the real Thor is out there being yeah. a loser. Yeah. Which is why it's so confusing in the What If comic, where Jane Foster becomes Thor, because she becomes or Thordis, but mm -hmm. she does it by just finding the hammer of Thor, mm -hmm. and just becoming Thor. Yeah, so it's, then the real Thor gets, like, cooked. That's why Thor is so weird, <laughs> because mm -hmm. he's not really a character. Like, you people become he's Thor. He's just the hammer, yeah. Yeah. Like, the hammer is actually more important than yeah. Thor is. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't be Thor without yeah. the hammer. And if, like, a woman just finds the hammer, I guess well, she becomes she's, Thor. She's Thor. That's weird. <laughs> it's like, well... And basically, in the comic, Odin, like, finds her, and he's just like, well, that's weird. Yeah. I thought... I, I just assumed that this would work out. 
<laughs> basically, so, basically so that's did, what he says. So, mytholo- did Odin give Thor the hammer originally? Yes. Okay, so he created the hammer, yes. but he has no idea how it works. Yeah, well, well he, he created, knows how it works. He's well, just like, to expect him that. it's one of it's like it's like this. Like he created mm-hmm. the rule, obviously, that Loki couldn't get out of the tree unless right. someone cried. It's just like, oh, I think this rule won't come up. Okay, well, Odin's and it did. <laughs> All right, so Odin's just yeah. dumb. Odin's anyway. very fallible. So I do prefer. <laughs> he is very I, I guess I do prefer the movie origin of Thor actually being just Thor. Thor, yeah. Then, you don't like you know, Doctor Donald Blake? No, I have no idea why I've got downer downer dog. <laughs> I like the idea of. Uh, well, the movie has this as well. I like the idea of there's a possibility someone besides Thor might actually get the hammer. Yeah, well, that's why he was so worried when Captain America tried. Because it's not just Thor to yeah, see there. Yeah. Other people have been Thor. Like in the comics I'm reading right now, Beta Ray Bill just Yeah, exactly. I was, that's what I was about to say. Fucking Beta Ray Bill or whatever gets yeah. the hammer at one yeah. point. All right. When's he getting his movies? I don't know, man. I am literally reading those comics right now, and it's pretty good. Thor has not been seen. No, wait. Been in Asgard. How would he know? He's in a tree. <laughs> but he controlled he was master of the tree i got were people hanging around the tree spreading the latest latest yeah gossip? they were like yeah. oh yeah well i mean heimdall was walking past <laughs> when he do was, you yeah. if if odin carried out the plan that he carried out like with dr donald blake wouldn't you be talking about it like hey where's I thor be talking hey, about you know what? he's down or gone he cries in caves now <laughs> that's thor i may as well give up <laughs> thor has not been in asgard for ages no one knows where he is, but I shall find him through his hammer. His mallet is made of Oru, the magic of, oh, the magic <laughs> mineral. Before, huh? Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cannot read, I don't know, all, all these right. lines ending mm-hmm. in the middle of words are throwing me off. Okay. Before I was imprisoned, I established a mental link with it. Now, I shall use that link to locate the hammer. <laughs> Mary was so incredulous, she couldn't even wait for the line to finish. <laughs> She's no. like, like, what the fuck are you talking about? What? you? So, you're like, oh, hey, uh, he, my brother has a hammer. Yeah. I'm going to create a mental link with it. Well, you know, we yeah, just, just said it's of Uru. the hammer is more important than Thor. Like, your brother could technically not exist. Yeah. He could just become his hammer. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you wouldn't want to be tracking Thor. That doesn't make sense. But obviously, you want to track the hammer. But obviously, why the hell hasn't Thor made a link with his hammer? Because he's not as magical he's not as smart. Yeah, Loki. <laughs> yeah, Loki's no like a magician. I hope they get into more details about this Oru shot. Because, I mean, oh, it doesn't yeah. explain how he was able to make a mental link at all. We already yeah, knew that. Apparently it's, it's sentient metal magic. somehow. I don't know. The image is appearing. I can see the Uru hammer. Ah, there is the mighty Thunder God. He is on Earth, in a hospital, entertaining children. He always did have a soft heart. Towards all except me. Also, how is this his power? He's, like, levitating it somehow. It's It's unclear what he's doing. He's electrically charging us to make a Electromagnetic radiation, Zach. Well, now, my ancient enemy is in for a surprise. Prepare yourself, Thor, for Loki is coming. This is the first thing he does is he gets out of a tree. Yes. He's like, let me go kill Thor. Also, I hope you don't expect them to, like, bring up, like, the brother thing, because that's not going to really be an issue. They're sworn enemies. Yeah. I mean, are Thor and Loki actually brothers in the real mythology, or is that something they just met up? Um, yes and no. It's one of those mythology things where, like... Everybody's brother. Yeah, the continuity in mythology (laughs) isn't great. (laughs) Um, It's all in Because, like, Loki is supposed to be, like, the son of Odin, but sometimes he's, like, an adopted son... But so mm-hmm. they, they do the have some frost. They do have the some kind. Yeah, they do have some kind of brotherly relationship, whether through so adoption or. I think even in the movies, they're yeah. half brothers. Yeah. So according to the first result on Google, <laughs> they're commonly represented as brothers in modern literature, but traditionally not brothers. Loki became blood brothers with Odin, Thor's father, after they participated in a blood sharing ritual. Well, they're related anyway. Also, in like mythology, I don't know if you noticed, but like sibling, wife, and parent can all kind of just be the same person. They can, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Traveling across the rainbow bridge at the speed of thought, the god of mischief reaches our unsuspecting planet. So I guess your speed on the bridge is dependent on your IQ? Yes. It has been ages since I was last on Earth. I had best alter my attire to modern day clothes while I search for Thor. 
Thor's speed might also be the speed of thought. Mm, well, it's the speed we of his cause... thought, which is pretty slow. <laughs> <laughs> Moments later, in human guise, Loki reaches the hospital he had seen. Probably. Loki looks a lot like Spock. Oh. I mean, like a lot. <laughs> I mean, he's got the eyebrows. He's got the he's got the ears kind of pointed up too. Yeah got the haircut yes thor was here bless his heart he made our children so happy but he left and i don't know where he is now well, i don't want to reveal myself yet by conjuring up another image of the magic hammer hmm i know i'll create a disturbance that will make thor come to me look at this woman on the right with like fetal alcohol syndrome yeah, yeah seriously. Holy giant shit. foreheads here holy okay, hell He's checking out, though, the red hat Yeah, one. her He's eyes like, oh. on the side of her head. It is. And a few blocks away from Loki, Dr. Don Blake and his nurse are returning from a house call when... It's... it's horrible! Help us! Somebody! Help! Holy Hannah, look! Those people, they've all been transformed into... Negatives! As you do. <laughs> There's no way that would be the first thing you thought when you've seen someone like this well, in real life. You wouldn't look at these people and think well, negatives? they're, they're white <laughs> they where they like should be negative. black and they're I mean, black where they should be white. This is an era where, like, photography is still, like, a thing that people do. So maybe they understand negatives better than common mm -hmm. people today do. I guess. The only time I ever hear about negatives anymore is, like, from shitty creepypastas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, it was Mickey Mouse, but photo negative. All right, well, guess yeah, what? They don't have, they don't... <laughs> Loki is basically like Thor, but mm. uh, then he jumps out of the screen and kills you for real. <laughs> if you die in the comic, you die in real life. Oh, with the skin-colored hair. Classic skin-colored mm. hair back again. <laughs> oh, yeah. But how? What could have caused it? They're under some kind of magic spell. Somehow, I must help them. But I can't do it as Downer Dawn Blake. <laughs> <laughs> I may as well just stay here and let them yeah, stay I know, negative. I might as well just because whatever it is is going to get me. Jane Foster had an intense look on the last panel. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She, yeah. she was, oh, oh. And then she turns negative. around to see Dr. Donald Blake, but. Oh, but he's a hobbling away. I'm Jane Foster. You're Jane. <laughs> yeah. You're Jane. Go. Jesus. Golly, Doctor, I... What? He's gone. Once again, I must change the cane into the magic hammer. Thump. Well, so far, we've had one line from the uh, female lead, so we'll see mm -hmm. if we get more than that no, at some point that's in this it. comic. She said golly. <laughs> golly. That's maybe, it. maybe I don't mind being Jane Foster. I'll yeah. Really <laughs> I, think, that. I think that's it for Jane. Here's the thing. Don't worry about being like the uh, female leads in these. <laughs> it's a pretty easy gig. Yeah, the girlfriends don't get to talk much. And myself into Thor! <laughs> and a moment later, look, it's Thor! Ah, my little feet of magic flushed out the great thunder god himself. Clear the street, some sinister enchantment is at work! If I rotate my hammer fast enough, it will emit anti-matter oh, particles. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all you're going to do there is cause explosions. <laughs> no, the matter, no, no, David. no, no, no. You don't understand how antimatter works. Oh, I get it, because they're negative, so exactly. they're made of antimatter right now. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they're negatives. Yeah. <laughs> So they're antimatter? Yeah. <laughs> Just so read the line. No one up right now, but okay. Yeah, so why aren't they exploding where they're touching the? You know, Mary. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. You're the never gonna get the protagonist roll again. Okay. Well, I'm Thor Sell forever it. now. Sell it. If I rotate my hammer fast enough, it will emit antimatter particles. There, it is working. In old comics, if you just said something was happening. Like, next panel, it would just happen. Yeah. Now, I'll just use the hammer as a super fan to blow the antimatter particles at the, quote, negative, unquote, victims. And 
as the antimatter reverses their atoms. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. And. <laughs> and as the antimatter reverses their atoms, it transforms them back into, quote, positive, quote, people again. You know, the most negative person in this comic is fucking Dr. Don. <laughs> yeah. Downer Dr. Don. What the hell is he talking about? Does okay. he understand how antimatter works? Uh, do you? So if he rotates... All right. It doesn't change if, people. If he rotates From negative his, to positive people. If he rotates his hammer fast enough, it will emit antimatter particles. There. It, it's working. So we've got the antimatter yes, particles. Yes, I understand. Right? Antimatter so particles. Okay. Are flinging everywhere. Now he uses his hammer as a super fan to blow the antimatter matter, matter particles at the negative victims. Okay. So, so but we're rotating it to emit the antimatter particles, yes. and we're rotating it yes, to so blow. Yes. So he is directing it. So he's rotating okay. it and directing it at the same it. time. Okay. So he's generating them, and they're being blown forward okay. at the same so time. Some, some, okay. Then, when the neg antimatter strikes the negative victims, it reverses their atoms. Okay, explain those three words. How do you reverse okay. an atom? All right, so the atom Easy. is going one way. No. The yeah. antimatter no. particle strikes no. it. Do you it no. goes the no. other way. No. Yeah. No. That's it. Do you understand so what is <laughs> the, the spell is over. We... We're normal again! Thanks to Thor! What a great performance! You were wonderful. Two lines. Second line. Second line. Mm -hmm. Alright, see, so we say. You record the glass ceiling has been struck mm -hmm. by the mighty hammer of Thor. <laughs> <laughs> it has been. A fateful encounter. Greetings, Thor. It has been a long time, hasn't it? A long time? Crack! I see you do not remember me very well. Perhaps this will refresh your memory. Oh my god, oh my god. no. But I'm frightened now. <laughs> Imagine if a man on the suit is like, oh, it's been a while. And you're like, oh, do I know you? And then he's like, this will solve it. And then crack! This appears. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck is the cracking sound? I don't know. He's, he's cracking out of his suit. He cracked out. Into this. He cracked out. Oh my god. Now do you recognize me? The god you imprisoned. The god who is your eternal enemy and who has come to Earth seeking vengeance. Loki? How do you know or who Loki Or maybe I'm like, Loki? <laughs> I don't know. How do I know that it's Loki? What? He's talking about things that I was not involved in. Look at this dude. Uh, right. It's yeah. fucking Loki. <laughs> who else could this be? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess if that's if that's yeah. want to go about it. It's like, right. okay. does this guy blend in? Right. You know what? I just <laughs> shot uh, antimatter particles out of my hammer and reversed yeah. some atoms. Yeah. Part two, Thor the Mighty, the Vengeance of Loki. Loki, the Norse god of mischief. According to the ancient legends, the most cunning and wicked of all the gods. I challenge you to battle. The guy must be nuts to take on Thor. Loki. Um, a lovely name. And he seems so dashing and romantic. Okay, James what? just <laughs> What the what? hell? Three lines. One, look at how this <laughs> David was it. confused by his own line. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um... Oh, a lovely name. <laughs> and he seems so, so dashing, dashing and, and Yeah, because the horns really... Uh, oh, she's yeah. just horny. She's horny. She's like, ooh, look at those horns. I nah, bet they mean he's something. Emitting, he's emitting fucking Sigma male particles right now. <laughs> it like, should brain. be more like, oh, a lovely name. Yeah. He seems so dashing and romantic. Yeah, but he... Not nah, that. <laughs> She should be confused on her own lines. Yeah, I'm yeah, attracted to him. I don't know how. I mean, Thor's standing right there. Yeah, she prefers Loki. Come, Thor. Let us battle in the air above these insignificant mortals. Look, he's making the carpet float. I must accept his challenge. I have no other choice. Be careful, Thor. Be real careful. 
was thinking I'd do that in Downer Dawn's voice, but I'm like, no, this is Thor. He can't be like, yeah. well, I have no other choice. I must, exactly. I, <laughs> I may as well this. stay here and oh, wait man. for Loki to find me. <laughs> <laughs> Whirling his hammer above his head, the Thunder God rises as smoothly as a helicopter. That's so not how helicopters okay, work. This is the other way he's able to fly. Is by whirling with a helicopter. Yeah. Okay, because the hammer would produce a lot of lift. That would happen. Yeah. Um, so we're not With the unbreakable thong. Yeah. My plan is working. He's following me up. All right, so what do you guys think Lo Loki's plan is? Uh, to drop him <laughs> onto yeah, the ground. I, I, I feel like he's going to somehow try and trick him once he gets up there. Oh. <sighs> If he, Mary's, if he has, yeah. I don't think either of you are right, but I think Mary's a little bit closer. <laughs> There's going to be some yeah. trick involved because you know, God of mischief. Yeah. If he had a clever way to make him like uh, lose his hammer until he fell to the ground and then yeah. just die. Oh, yeah, I feel oh like my. he's going to trick him now to get David's rid of the hammer. The good yeah, stuff. I was going to say now David's yeah. getting the good stuff. And grab his hammer. All right, let's see. Being superhuman like myself, Thor cannot be conquered by my magic alone. But there are other ways. I've maneuvered him into a position where the sun's rays reflect off his hammer into his eyes each time the hammer passes in front of him. You guys didn't see this coming. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know, know what? Eye. He's spinning that hammer. Antimatter particles should be emitting from it. All right. Yeah, I would have thought like you know the anti sun would have blocked out the sun or whatever. <laughs> nope. The blinking reflection plus my power of suggestion will soon have him hypnotized. He's gonna fucking hypnotize yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna hypnotize Thor. You are tired, Thor. Too tired to remain awake. You must sleep. Sleep. I must sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> so, kind yeah. of, it is, you're right in that it is generally a trick. Yeah. Um, I don't think any of you uh, No, I did not foresee the sun oh, reflecting the sun off, the reflect off the hammer. The sun would reflect off the hammer. And that he and, would abs you know. accidentally hypnotize himself. So, since he's got the mind link with the Uru metal, why doesn't he just take the hammer away? Well, we'll see. You are in my power. I am your master. You must obey me. I'm still swinging the hammer while I'm asleep? Yeah. I must obey you. So hypnotism is like something that Stan Lee loved. It is all over mm -hmm. Silver oh, Age yeah. comic oh, books. Yeah. Oh. yeah, they love it. I have triumphed. Now, to have my revenge, I shall use Thor as my instrument for creating mischief. This is how, this is always the downfall, you know, mm -hmm. just kill him. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking kill him. Yep. Yep. Don't try to use him or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Descend to Earth, Thor. Yes, Loki. All right. <laughs> yes, Loki. <laughs> but when the two living legends touch the ground, one sudden fear sweeps through Loki. Some accidental shock might suddenly snap him out of his trance. If that happened, and he had his hammer with him, it would be too dangerous for me. I must get Thor's hammer away from him. Ooh, are we going to have a countdown? All right, so... Because we only got 60 seconds. Countdown time. How do you think he will get his hammer away from him? Well, he's just going to... He asks him, him to give it to yeah. him. <laughs> I command you to give me the enchanted hammer. I... I cannot obey you, Loki. By the will of Odin, the magic Editor's weapon... Note. <laughs> <laughs> Are we interrupting right. here for this? Odin. By the will of Odin... Odin is the ruler of the Nor Norse gods. <laughs> the magic weapon must never be wrested from Thor. I fucking star in the middle of dialogue, what the fuck? <laughs> this is pretty common. So yeah, anyway, that doesn't work. All so right, what do you so... think the second plan to get the hammer away well, from Thor will be? Well, he's just going to... Uh, well, he's going to have to trick him, because he can't wrest it from him. <laughs> well, you're right that he will trick him, but how will he trick him? So, um, I believe... Okay, well, hypnotism hasn't worked. Well, so... it has worked, but not in this specific right. way. So we can't hypnotize him to no. give it to get... We'll just ask him to him. leave it on the ground or so something. So he's going to... Yeah, he's going he's gonna, to... Um, yeah, he'll, ha he'll just have to drop it. Oh, boy. You sweet summer oh. children. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> His attachment to the hammer is too strong for even hypnosis to overcome. 
I will have to resort to trickery. Mm-hmm. Look, Thor! There is a sea beast beneath the surface. It is attacking that small boat. Instinctively, <laughs> the god of thunder hurls his mighty hammer in the direction indicated by Loki. <laughs> it worked. He believed there really was a menace, and he tried to destroy it. Right, but it comes back. But an instant later... Yeah. Oh... I forgot. The hammer's greatest power. Whenever Thor throws it, it returns to him. All right. And we can't just put it down. This counts as trying to put it down, and that didn't work either. I was going to say, this was so, essentially putting it down. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it doesn't work that way, so that just won't happen. Right. So what's but there's your loads next... of times where he does just drop it. <laughs> I know, but like, oh, in this no, specific case, it just can't happen, guys. So come up with a well, new way to get this hammer away from him. Uh, just throw it so far that will take ages to come back. All right, throw it farther is David's idea. <laughs> it's a tough one. I think, well, I, I mean, now, does Loki know that Thor is down or dawn? <laughs> I don't think he does. I don't think he does. Okay. Because he's never seen Dr. Donna Blake. He didn't see okay. him transform, right? He just turned so, up as Thor. So, uh, like, is he gonna, is he gonna do the whole thump? And once, the thump, and then it yeah. goes into the cane, and then it's well, down or dawn? We'll see. I must get the hammer away from him. I did not see another Thor. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see another Thor coming. Wait, I have a plan. I shall conjure up another Thor. So is he going to give the hammer to the other Thor? Yeah, because then that's not resting from Thor. <laughs> there we go. There the we Thor, go. <laughs> the Thor is going to give to Thor. All right, well, Job I did, done. Not, did not see this coming. In his hypnotic trance, he might just be deceived by the image I've created. Behold, Thor, the mighty, the thunder god. The hammer is his. Give it to him. Yes, Loki, the hammer belongs to Thor. Thor! I'm a dunce! <laughs> it worked! Now go to yonder house of animals and set free the beasts. Set free the beasts. Also, like, the image just yeah. vanishes and the hammer does just fall down. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. just put it down. Don't it throw it. It's not going to come back to him. No. Yeah, no, it's not. Because he didn't throw it. Also, why is he talking all the old timesy now? Because <laughs> he can he was doing grand up until now, and all of a sudden he doesn't know the word for zoo. But, as Thor reaches the animal house, Loki's attention is diverted for a moment. Foolish mortals, straining to lift the magic hammer. In all of heaven and earth, none but Thor has strength enough to lift it. They're doing a pretty good job yeah, for two handle, human yeah. men. Yeah. They actually have the handle. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. And... In that fateful moment, the transformation takes place. For when the God of Thunder and his hammer are separated for more than 60 seconds, he reverts back to his normal form. So Thor is like eight feet tall. And, <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and Dr. Donald Blake is like four. And, and the hypnotic spell which Thor was under has no effect upon the person of Dr. Don Blake. What can be taking Thor so long? Why has he not released the beasts? I must manage to touch the hammer again. Now, the question would be, once he becomes Thor again, is he still hypnotized? Because <laughs> I'm That's gonna call bullshit. bullshit. I don't get it. I can't lift this thing clear off the ground. Whew. I strained every muscle in my arm and still couldn't budge it. Let me try. Are you kidding? We couldn't lift it, so how can a skinny guy like you do it? Hmm. Let the poor sap try. It'll be good for a laugh. But... The instant Don Blake touches the magic hammer, there is a blinding flash of light. My eyes! I can't see! Where'd that skinny guy go to? I don't know, but look who's holding the hammer now. It's Thor! Now, Loki, we're going to finish our battle. You've broken the hypnotic spell! It does break the hypnotic spell. He oh, is okay. not still hypnotized. All right, good, good. 
<laughs> After that whole antimatter thing, I wasn't hopeful. As he flees from his foe, the god of mischief uses his magic powers to gather together all the pigeons in the area. What's he doing? Running through the air? Yes. Yeah, he's flying. I must escape Thor and think up a new plan to defeat him. Because Thor will not swing his hammer on a pigeon. Nope. <laughs> no. Oh my god, he might actually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> fly, little birds, fly quickly. Clever trick, but it will do him no good. I'm just gonna kill the fucking birds. How, how is this a clever trick? What is he doing? I is he flying by the pigeons? I think yeah. all the pigeons are like up under him and lifting yeah, him and up. Lifting him yeah. Up. Okay. So that last panel was just kind of shy. Thor has hurled his hammer and he's holding on to it. He's flying after me. He, he's overtaking me. I must land. I have to let Thor come and get me now. Look, I'm holding on to my unbreakable thong. Exactly. Yeah, unbreakable. Who would have thought that a god of thunder can outrun pigeons? <laughs> That's a giant-ass pigeon! That is one giant Jesus. Pigeon. I can use this crowded theater to my advantage. Whoa, Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell is Loki doing? Oh my god. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Missionaries. Yeah. <laughs> Missionaries? <laughs> Alright, let's wait a sec while we handle mm -hmm. the delivery. Yeah. Alright, yeah. oh, there's a delivery here. Okay. I need your more stuff, come on. I can use this crowded theater to buy advantage. Be gone, pigeons! Look! What? Who is it? Must be an advertising stunt. Too many people around. There's no room to swing my hammer. Thor, here I am. Come and get me, if you dare. We got a showdown. Bah! Hammer or no hammer, my strength is still the greatest of the gods. What are you talking about? You absolutely need your hammer. <laughs> but, once again, Loki uses his crafty talent to best the god of thunder. With a simple bit of magic, I release the curtain from its supports. Ah, uh, yes, a stage curtain. That will surely stop Thor. <laughs> yep. Even worse than the fucking file and cabinet full of rocks. And while my mighty opponent struggles to free himself, I again make my escape. <laughs> See, it was just a time thing. Thor bamboozled here. Yeah, well... Yeah. But Thor is not without cunning himself. Yeah, he is. I'll get this off me sooner with the power of wind. Whoosh! So I fart on it. Then I would by pulling and tearing. He's blowing. He's... Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sure I am. See, you can see his that's lips are I'm... puffed up down that's there. That's why I'm yeah. also talking. <laughs> well, he's not talking. He's thinking. He's thinking. Oh, yeah. I was like thinking. Oh, there yeah, is look, bubbles. it's a thought it bubble. It is a thought bubble. And moments later... The fantastic battle is resumed. It's not really a battle at all, actually. <laughs> no, no. They haven't not. actually fought once. Nope. An underground tunnel. I'll surely defeat Thor down there. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's an underground tunnel. <laughs> like, That's what he said about the you theater. You will beat Thor's ass in an underground tunnel. Anyone could. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. He's pushing those people off the platform. How <laughs> good more shot. suicide. That always makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm cutting that out. <laughs> you don't see that in the movies. You don't see no, just pushing no. people in front of no, fucking in trains. front of the in front of the train. He's pushing those people off the platform. And a train's coming! Away, puny mortals! Ha! I knew the soft hearted Thor would stop to help the useless humans. No time to lose. The train will pass within seconds. All right. Once again, Loki gets away. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Once again, this not is, a bottle. This is definitely the best way to solve this situation, I think. You know those are oh, yeah. electric rails, right? Well, the, only the third rail is electrified, right? Okay. There is no third rail. Seizing, <laughs> I know. <laughs> seizing the iron rails, the invincible thunder god tears them from the ground. Both of you, down quickly! Y you bet. Thank heavens you're here. How does this not derail the train? 
It's just a little wrong. Like this. <laughs> All right. Not Who's A, B, C, and D? <laughs> oh, my God. All right. If I didn't see it with my own eyes. I do see it. And I still don't believe it. Nobody can do that. Uh, uh, nobody except Tar. <laughs> See, wah, so it wah, wah. answers your criticism. No one can do that. Except Thor. Okay, you know what? We started with antimatter, and now we're ripping rails up. Okay, fine, whatever. So far, this I do is think... way less egregious than the fucking antimatter. I think that's true. It is less egregious than the antimatter. <laughs> <laughs> Very few things would not be less uh, egregious than the antimatter. I do still think this comic is better than the Stone Men from uh, Saturn. Oh, yeah, easily. We're saved now to find loki before he does any more harm up there he's brought him the... <laughs> okay what oh my god <laughs> what i don't even know what to all do. right guys calm down we can... <laughs> let's just <laughs> let's, let's approach this Systematically. Okay, you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna have to get into Downer Dawn mode so that I can, you know. Oh my god. Seriously, I have to read this. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Up there, he's brought the winged horse of a gasoline sign to life. Now he can fly again. And in this Times Square crowd, I can't swing my hammer. I can't fly after him. I guess at some point in the 60s, there was a gas station was brand gas station that had, had a Pegasus. winged horse. And had Pegasus. I don't even know how to ask ChatGPT a question that know. would, like, answer that. So, mascot, gas station mascot. Yes, there was a brand of gas station that had a winged horse as his mascot. Mobile. The brand was mobile. And the mascot was a winged uh, red horse named Pegasus. Uh-huh. Well, because of the whole... Yeah, it makes horse. sense. The Pegasus had been a company trademark since its affiliation with Magnolia Petroleum Company in the 1930s. All right. Although this is a red horse. Yeah, it is a red horse. And it seems to be horse. white it's here. White. Thank you, AI. And while thousands watch the God of Mischief... He's running amok, smashing the displays like a spoiled child in a Fit of anger, which I would know <laughs> about because businesses. I also <laughs> like a spoiled, a spoiled child. child. Exactly. But Loki soon becomes bored with his amusement and <laughs> leaves. While I'm approaching yonder statue, I'll think of a way to defeat Thor once and for all. Your plan so far has just been to run away. Mm -hmm. He did hypnotize him for a bit. Yeah, he had one plan. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, those sections of pipe. That's the answer! Of Is course. It? Grabbing one of the sections, the mighty Thor hurls it high into the air. I pray my aim is as superhuman as my strength. Why couldn't he just he throw his hammer? That with the hammer? Uh, yeah, there's no reason. Uh, and this pipe, like, if he misses, it's going to land on someone somewhere. Yeah, he got the out of the crowd. There's not pipe in To be fair, he is throwing it square. at, like, the Statue of Liberty. So theoretically, he'll either hit the Statue of Liberty, which would be bad, or he'll just, like, drop it in the water. He's interrupting that fucking construction by robbing the pipe. He is doing that. Hey, right, who are the three Glob! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let you take another one of Glob. Uh, I'm, assuming this is, I'm assuming this is Skyline. Glob? Oh, no, wait, that would be... Skyline 1 would be Thor, so that would have to be your... All right, we'll all switch. right. So, yeah, we'll switch. <laughs> Can I say Glob one more time? Oh, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Glob! It worked! Hooray! We did it! Splash! Splash. <laughs> and then Loki drowned. And Squidward drowned. According to legend, Loki's magic powers are useless in water. <laughs> what is this, One Piece? I don't think so. And if I knew this, <laughs> why the hell didn't I use this to my advantage I have never, earlier? Yeah. By the way, I have never seen another Thor comic where this was brought up. I'm pretty sure this is just something that's for this one issue. Yeah. Whatever. Did you take the Hill Drown line? No, I did not, right. because I'm... <laughs> I was... You have a habit of interrupting yourself. I know, middle. because... I say the stupidest things ever. It's not All easy right. being the hero, is it? No. No, because you say really stupid things. <laughs> okay, I'll take it again. 
According to legend, Loki's magic powers are useless in water. He'll drown unless I rescue him. And? Swimming faster than the fastest fish, the Thunder God soon reaches his helpless foe. What is the fastest fish? The sailfish is considered the fastest fish in the ocean. It can swim at speeds up to 68 miles per hour, 110 kilometers. It's like a car. What the fuck? Yeah, that's yeah. really fast. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So, but right. but Thor is faster, so he's going like seventy. How big do sailfish get? <laughs> oh, sailfish. Oh, there. No, there. That's the really giant one with the long nose. I thought that was yeah. a swordfish. Uh, maybe it's a type of swordfish. Possibly. Maybe they're related. Sailfish generally do not grow more than ten feet, three meters in length, and rarely weigh over two hundred pounds. Oh yeah, yeah. they are. 90 kilograms. Females can grow up to 10 feet long, while males can be as small as 5 and a uh, half feet long. 10 feet. Pretty big. That's a yeah, big no, woman. That's, yeah. Cool. All right. Okay. All right learn something well, new there. Thor is faster than that. Yo! No, wait. <laughs> How can I do that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some dangerous maneuvers and get some water. All right. This should be good. David I'm, drowns I'm, trying to make this comment. I'm just, I'm just going to do a glove. I'm going to do a glove. <laughs> Glum. Did you get that? Yeah, uh, yeah absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Do you want do you want a normal take and you can pick which one is <laughs> sure. better? You you would save me. I cannot stand by and let anyone perish, Glub. <laughs> Even you. Moments later, back on shore. Where are you taking me? Stop. Give me a chance to dry myself. We're going to the Empire State Building. And I'm keeping you wet, so you can't use your magic against me. Man, if I had a nickel for every time I told someone that. You would have one nickel, and it's weird you... that you even have one. <laughs> Soon, atop of the world's tallest skyscraper, uh, not anymore, not, but, you know, at one time anymore. it was... In the 60s. Why have you tied me to your hammer? No, stop. Don't. I'm sending you back to Asgard, Loki. The fastest way possible. Farewell, god of mischief. May we never meet again. Where's his hammer? Did he throw he his hammer? He threw it. It threw it with Loki. Okay, well, how's he going to get back? <laughs> it just turns around. Oh, okay. It just turns around. Alright. <laughs> Hurled at almost the speed of thought. Almost, almost but not quite. Case. The magic hammer carries its living burden higher and higher until it reaches the rainbow bridge and the citadel of the gods, where it sweeps down in a great arc before Odin, Baldur, Tyr, and the other astonished gods. Behold, it is the hammer of Thor. It brings Loki back to us. And returns to its master. Once again. My eldest son, the Lord of Thunder, has vanquished Loki. See, it comes back. So it was within 60 seconds. Yes. To... Yeah, almost the speed of thought. It goes back in okay. less, in less right. than 60 seconds, yeah. The hammer returns just in time. So it took almost a full minute. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, it was so a close thing, but he made it. Is, okay. The hammer returns just in time. Another few seconds, and it would have been gone a full minute, causing me to lose my powers up here on top of this penis thing. <laughs> the Empire State Building. <laughs> so if he turns back into Don Blake, does the hammer fly? Does it just stop? Oh, I gotta read the next one. <laughs> read the next one. <laughs> you just, right, you right. just stopped in the I middle did, of these panels. I get, I get confused. <laughs> then, downer Don Blake would have been standing here trying to catch it. A feat he could never perform. But he's the one who can lift it up. So why couldn't he catch it? Who knows, man. Because it's going really fast. Yeah, and I guess he would have just died. It. But he would just have to hang on to it. Then he'd turn back into Thor. He'd be fine. Man, I, I don't, don't think... No, I think he would, like, get the impact of it first. And he'd be fucked up. But he can control <laughs> the hammer. Uh, no, so he can't, he can't, no, he can't uh, telepathically control the hammer while he's Don Blake. Right, but as soon as he touches it, he turns back into Thor. Yeah, would he die in the, be, in the instant that he becomes Thor? Would he just be dead Thor? Like, <laughs> like it doesn't make any sense. Anyway. I, I, see, I see what you're saying. A, sh a short time later. Imagine the god of thunder and the god of mischief. 
while battling here on Earth before our eyes. How romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Is she going to write a fucking, like, gay romance manga about this? <laughs> I guess. How romantic. It makes our own ordinary lives seem so dull, doesn't it, Dr. Blake? Well, uh, it's all in your point of view. The end. Dun, 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 dun. We never really address the fact that Jane Foster is apparently attracted to Loki. It's, <laughs> it's just I wonder, like... Is she using romantic in like life? a very broad sense? She just wants someone to have so, sex with her? Jane Foster is in heat. Yeah, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. By the way, this is line number four and also the end. So okay. four lines. You know, four that's lines. Uh, three more lines than I thought she'd get. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not right. bad. So what do you guys think of Thor, guys? Uh, the second one was pretty good. I liked the second one. Yeah, actually. the second one was better than the first one. It Stone was... Men, not not a not a strong start. The second one, I mean, it was ridiculous, but like stuff was consistently happening. <laughs> a lot of the times, yeah. it's just like there's yeah. just a yeah, long, yeah, boring the whole segment. Matter thing is a bit. It's ridiculous, but at least it's interesting. So it's unclear whether Thor is because I'm assuming Doctor Don Blake is an intelligent person. Uh, well, he's meant to be. Mm, yes. And then when he, but it's unclear whether his intelligence transfers over to Thor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's also uh, it's pretty unclear like what sort of knowledge the hammer just kind of fucking. Uh, yeah, it could give you. Because yeah. Suddenly, the yeah. distinction between Thor and Doctor Donald Blake is not explained in the yeah. slightest. Yeah. No. You can see why they kind of just did away with Doctor Donald Blake. Well, yeah, because he's stupid. Yeah. I mean, the whole secret identity thing is, like, really tiring. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't get anything out of it. I always found it, like, just annoying when they had the normal person. Yeah. Uh, parts. And I always I always felt, even as, like, a young kid, I figured out it's probably because it's more expensive to do fight scenes and stuff, so they have to have a bunch of normal human scenes. Not really. In the to drawing. I mean, drawing is all just yeah. no, not in the No, they, yeah, in the comic, no, but in, like, the, in, like, the early, like, in the old Spider-Man movies or yeah. something, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah. Obviously, I yeah. never read the Well, comics, in the so. comics, it's always, you have them as their secret identity, because they're, they get in trouble. They're the weak ones. They're the ones yeah. that, you know. Yeah, they're the losers. They're yeah. the... This transformation yeah. thing is actually something you don't see in comics very much anymore, but it was very common in the Golden Age. Like, Captain, mm -hmm. the original Captain Marvel, which is now Shazam. Don't ask mm -hmm. about it. Okay. Um, <laughs> and the original... Me. He waves me away with his hand. <laughs> the original Shazam. Uh, right. Like, he, he's just like a little kid, but he just says Shazam. Like, he was mm -hmm. the most popular. Shazam. We think of Superman as being, like, the most important kind of Golden Age comic nowadays because Superman... Lasted. remained popular mm -hmm. but at the time it was shazam and he was mm -hmm. just like a little boy who just said shazam and then like he turns into like a big muscle man Mas and that was very comic there was like that was very common like a lot of comics just had like little boys like who had Wonder magic Twins words yeah. yeah and like you become a big beefy man in this case it's not a little boy it's just a uh it's a, it's crippled a weenie man, yeah, adult it's a... man who acts like a little boy yeah who, who that, that reminds me of that one series of power rangers where one of them was a little boy yeah, 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 yeah. Power power he into fully grown adults the, when they yeah. have terrible one yes mm -hmm. the thing i is, like that one <laughs> the uh that actually happened in the american version and it actually happened the like i think the white ranger the original Sentai footage, he's supposed to be, like, a little boy. Hmm. But in the American footage, he's just, like, Tommy, the former Green Ranger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we digressed into into well, uh, Power Rangers yeah, there at yeah. the end, but... Yeah. They're a Power Rangers comic book. It's, it's on brand. Yeah. All right, so do you guys know what the next issue is going to be? Uh, so this was... Hold on. Wait. Uh, this, this was, was the first Thor. Thor movie? Mm -hmm. We just did the Thor movie, yep. So what's the next movie? Iron Man 2? We already did Iron Man 2. Jesus. Uh, Captain America. Absolutely. That's All it. All right. We got a little Captain America. This is our last solo uh, comic. Uh, after yeah. this, we're doing The Avengers. Yeah. Uh, Captain America had his own. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to be going back in time further, I was say, we're back further in the than the age. Silver Age. We're yeah. going back yeah. to 1940 for the next one. Yeah. We're going into the Golden Age. Easily the oldest. Ooh. Ooh. Will Captain America be sleeping with his young boyfriend? Ah, uh, we will be getting the young boy. <laughs> yes. Was Bucky a young boy in the comics? Oh, yeah. He's oh, a young yeah. boy. And they sleep oh, together. Awkward. <laughs> they sleep together. <laughs> All right. What will I do with this young boy sleeping beside me? <laughs> you want to talk cringe, David. <laughs> they sleep head to toe, right? 
No. <laughs> no, I don't think they do. Not. <laughs> we recorded for a little over three hours, so hopefully I'll be able to find right. it in the editing. And uh, that looks like it's the end of another episode. All right. I'm going to bed. <laughs> All right. Go We've recorded somewhere. real late. All right. Good night. All right. David, you want to say goodbye? No, I guess he doesn't. No, he just, he's muted. All right. Oh, God. How long was I muted? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay. I was talking and everything. Wow. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, goodbye, lads. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you later. See you later. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like these videos, uh, please feel free to check out my writing. Uh, links are in the description. All right. See you guys later. Kiss, kiss.